Welcome to the October channel update. Today I want to go over a few things of what I've been planning over the last few months. Obviously my layout is an Arduino based layout which has been using CMRI. While CMRI does what I want it to do and is certainly capable since I changed over the RS485 modules I was using. I've been looking at other systems or other protocols that can be used with Arduino but may offer me a few advantages over the CMRI. So you may ask, well, what are the differences or advantages you can see? Well, with the CMRI, if I need to change a servo open or close position for the turnouts, I have to unplug the RS5 bus from the module then reconfigure the code, upload it, and away I go. So it's not a biggish problem, but it's something I've seen in other systems where I can modify the settings on the fly using a message going down at the bus. Being a member of Merg has opened up the possibilities to me because I've been able to see different systems in use so one is the CBUS uh, way, and the other which is LCC or Open LCB. Now both of these offer some nice features for changing the servo variables on the fly. Now I did demonstrate the CBUS uh, six in six out sketch in my recent video. I'm working on a sketch with another mem uh, member of Merg to bring us servos. So this is for CBUS, but I'm also working with another member on a module which would suit my layout. And he has kindly created a sketch for me. It's a work in progress. And so far the results are looking very promising with that. So to be able to do this, I've required the use of the CAN USB 4, which is a Merg product that gives me an interface between JMRI, my computer, and the Arduinos via the CAN bus. So the last few days I've been working with a sketch created by David Harris for the LCC uh, network or protocol. Now this has been adopted by the MMRA, as a layout control bus system and I asked him could he create me a sketch that would do two servos and eight either inputs or outputs and he very quickly created a sketch for me and this sketch is what we're testing at the moment. Now it is a work in progress. Uh, we did have a few issues but we're slowly working through these and I've now got a sketch that works. The thing with LCC, you use JMRI to configure the modules. So I've got a lot to learn first how to use this, but I am making slow progress. So for this project, I'm going to be using the Arduino Nano, which is a clone, and this sensor shield, which are all readily available from the likes of AliExpress Direct from China at a very cost effective price. Obviously you need to make sure you get the right Arduino Nano. I use the AT Mega 368 version. And here is the MCP2515 chip that I'll be using to connect the CAN bus. And you can see the wiring required to connect to the Arduino Nano Shield. On this series, compared to the previous ones I showed on LCC and CAN bus and C bus, I'm using pin 3 for the interrupt. This is because this is what's been coded in the library for the LCC. This might get changed or made uh, modifiable by people, but at this point, this is what we're using. Today I'm not going to show you the actual sketch because it is a work in progress but what I am going to show you is the JMRI interface and give you a quick example of that. So here I am in JMRI 
I've got a simulator of my DCC++ and I want to add LCC. So go to Preferences. This will take a second or two to start. Here, select LCC. You get a number of choices. So here I want the CAN USB. Tell it what COM port, and in my case it's COM port 4. Click on save. It will come up to restart, so I'll let it go through that. So now we've got the LCC showing up here. So next I'm going to go to LCC, configure nodes, and here you can see my node. We'll go to open configuration dialog, and here you'll see it's loading it from the file that's already on the module. Then here you can see some information about the node. Here we can change the speed that the servo moves from between 1 and 255. Obviously in this example it's been set at 50 to start with. You've got the two servos here which we can configure. This position 1 is one position and then you can change the other. So you can change it from say 1 degree to 40 degrees and then change the throne position and this will be done on the fly. Then here we've got the eight inputs and outputs that are available to us. We get a number of options so you've got none. The first time you load it it will come up with an output on number one. Not quite sure why that's happening but you can change it to an input, input inverted, input with pull up, input with pull up inverted, output and output inverted. So this is quite a handy feature. This bit here, and as I say, when this first comes in, this comes in with these variables already set. But if you set it as zero, it's solid state. Then what you could do, if you set this here to five, this would then make the output flash. So if you've got an LED connected to it, you've got here, one is 100 milliseconds, so this would be 500 milliseconds, so therefore it would flash the LED every half a second. Obviously I'm not going to go into too much detail at the moment because this screen may change in the coming weeks. Anyway, I hope this has shown you something that we can do with an Arduino.